thank you. I always say and talk about my six children, and people say, you look young. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I am from Somalia. I am a Somali who got resettled in the United States back in 1993. I came to Maine in 2001, to be precise, February 4th, 2001. When I came to Lewiston, we had three families who were from Somalia. Maine has changed, and so is Lewiston, 11 years ago. We are people who come from different, various backgrounds. We have, although we are refugee and immigrants, within us, there are a lot of many ethnic groups, many religious backgrounds, and many, many dreams that we all dream about. When we came to Maine, we were looking for um, prosperity, change, safety, and good life for our children. Many refugees come in on what's called free cases. They have no idea and no control over where they get resettled. Refugees come in with um, their immigration status, so we're not illegal immigrants. We have people who are coming in with their refugee status. So when I get resettled in anywhere in the United States, I have the option to then move to any state that I want to move to. Refugees are legal immigrants, and so when we moved to Maine 11 years ago, and when we moved to Lewiston Auburn 11 years ago, we were moving, searching for safety, smaller communities, places where we can thrive, and better future for our children. Today, Maine has different colors, different cultural backgrounds, different religious backgrounds, and most refugees and women, most, most refugees are women and children, and therefore women who have never had roles like what we have today. That's what's called courage. Courage is to be able to pick up all the pieces that you have as if life is normal and move forward. So when we have leaders and people who are in positions who tell us and, and send the wrong messages, we really don't appreciate that, you know? It doesn't feel right to be isolated. It doesn't feel right to be targeted. It doesn't feel fair to be segregated. Today, we cannot afford to, to divide ourselves. We are one large community that has many different colors. And so when we are refugees and immigrants, we're people who are here to build Lewiston Auburn, to build Maine, to contribute to the economy of this state. We are people who work so hard. We are people who pay taxes, and I'm gonna emphasize on that. We are people who pay taxes, and we're people who build Lewiston's economy. When I came to Lewiston, Lisbon Street was not thriving. You go down Lisbon Street today, it has many colors. It's thriving. It's a community that has a comeback. And better yet, Lewis, refugees don't move out of the state. You know, refugees stay together. We don't send our children out of the state. When my daughter is 18, I'm hoping she goes to Bates College. So, it is important for all of us to realize that the reality is Maine has changed and so is Lewiston Auburn. Our children are going to the same schools. I go grocery shopping to the same stores we all shop at. We have no difference. We access the same services, the same basic needs is what every human being has. We are human beings. We have a right to be here. We, if I had a choice today, I would be in Somalia. Can you imagine you being displaced and for a second put yourself in my shoes? Get yourself out of the environment that you know, the people that you know, the culture that you know, and put yourself in Somalia. Where do you begin? Where do you start? 
You have no idea. It's like a big field. You've been placed at the middle of a big field. What direction do you take? That's what refugees and immigrants are asked for. We are asked to assimilate, to be, you know, to accept the new culture, to be able to speak English, work, drive, go to, you know, parent-teacher conferences, act as if everything is normal. <laughs> Yet we're not given the tools. We don't have the tools. It's going to take us forever to get there. But there's hope. The hope is we are one large community. We are one. So we need to tolerate our differences. We need to acknowledge our differences. We need to acknowledge this change that has come to Lewiston and Auburn and Maine as a whole 11 years ago. We need to work together. We need to have leaders who pave the way for us and for our young children and for our future and have a better tomorrow. Thank you all so much. <laughs>